It's time to take care with our Take Care show. Take, take care of you, take care of yourself, and love yourself. It's all about taking care of yourself today. Well, when I heard that taking care of, I was thinking about Elvis. Taking care of business. Taking care. That was his famous yes. logo, and he put it on all of his memorabilia, so it was good. But, yeah, we must take care of ourselves. We must take care Honors of Honors the Lord when you do that. Absolutely. There's a scripture that comes to mind and to my heart, Third John 1 and 2. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health Amen. as it goes well with your soul. You know, we have to take care of these bodies because yes. the Lord has work for all of us to do. Yes. It's not really us. It's what do we have yet to do for him. Yes. And if we abuse our bodies in any kind of way, we cannot fulfill God's perfect plan in our life. So do you want to fulfill his plan? I do. I want to be in his perfect will today. Yes. I don't want to be in his permissive will. Yes. I want to be in his perfect will. And the only way we can do that, you can't go on visitation. You can't work. You can't raise the money. You can't pay off the church when your health is, is so bad that you can't do anything but just exist. Yes. And it doesn't mean just, and you may be watching today and you say, my health is in jeopardy. I'm in a crisis we right understand. now. Sometimes there's nothing that you have done. That's right. Tell it again. And I Trina. want you to understand that you may say, I work out every day. I eat healthy and I don't understand why I'm going through this in my body. Some things are out of our control, Amen. but just know that we know someone who is in control. Amen. And then there are some of you today who can work on your health and you know sometimes we have eaten too much or we put too much food on our plate so yeah. you know maybe we have to cut back in some areas but to God be the glory this is take care show take care of yourself and when we come back we're going to talk about that today and share some tips with you today so yeah. tell a friend the Treve and Kevin show we're on Welcome back to Self Care, Take Care of Yourself show today. Watch out. You know what I wish I had known? What? I wish I'd had this Treve and Kevin show 40 years ago. Mm. You know, when you're a young man, you don't worry about anything. We're all thin. Everybody says, well, what were you? We were all thin when we were young. And uh, But if I'd had this material that you're going to share today, yes. I would have absorbed it. Absolutely. So much of my life, you know how I learned trial and error. Yes. And trial is, yeah, boy, you go. just start eating the cheeseburgers, cheese, and will Over they time. catch up? They yes. will catch they up. They said easy on the lips, but hard on the hips. Come on, okay? don't you know it's true? And you know, when you think about self-care, when you think about when you're flying and you're traveling, they say in the event of an emergency and that mask, is it comes down, you yeah. pull that mask down, are you supposed to take that mask and pl place it on the child first or do you, pull, you put it on yourself first? Yeah, well, you they say to place put it, it on, on yourself you're first. You're right, I heard them say so that. So self-care, you have to, because only when we first help ourselves can we effectively help others. Well, and the truth is, it's about information. That's why this show is so valuable to so many in the church, out of the church, in the workplace. You know, there's going to come a time, Treva, when they start doing employment that you're going to have to, it'll be by law, regimented that they're going to do all these pre-exams before you can get a job. Wow. And if you say, well, I was a little careless with my health in yes. my young years from yes. drugs and alcohol, my friend, you'll pay a price. Yes. And is it a price too high? A, yes. Will it take you places you don't want to go? Yes. yes, it will. And these are some things that can lead to, uh, say, poor health or just not taking care of yourself. One, I'm going to name a few sleep deprivation. I know. I've been getting guilty. enough hours of sleep. Do you know, Treva, you told me, you and I were doing a workout with some lady years ago. Years ago. And your sister worked in a place where they had Alzheimer's patients. Yes. And you said a common thing, they were sleep deprived. So mm -hmm. many, I don't know if you remember telling me. I remember me. that. But you know, now I'm reading all that. I'm watching I studied the brain and all, and you were right. You were right. And see, I came from a time when I was in the law school, mm -hmm. give me four hours sleep because I had to work to pay the tuition. Yes. I had to study to pass the class. It was not effective. Now, I did what I had to do then, 
But I know now that is not the way to do it. It's not. So sleep deprivation is one worse in memory, poor or risky decision making, lack of energy can lead to uh, poor eating habits. Well, let's talk about that. I know me and you. When we were doing the show in the early days, we were rolling, and you said we were going the whole time. Did he just say me and you? I said me and you. Him, Lord. And y'all, she had a nap. You You had a nap. You drove. No, but you drove, and there was not a drive (laughs) between Clarksville and Nashville. Oh my gosh, you're going to get it after. And then you would say, "Okay, get me the biggie size." I said, "Really, Trevor? Go ahead." All right, poor eating habits, Kevin C. Kennedy. So. We've got to change some things. I got it. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Yeah, Cheese they got burger. me on that. Okay, failure to exercise. Now, I yeah. tried to get a trainer for you, but you, you did, did get not, a trainer. Did not co- cooperate. Yeah, we were trying to work out, and why were you wearing cowboy boots on the treadmill? <laughs> I said, Kevin, you cannot wear those those boots. Yeah, I remember on the those. Remember I that? wish we had stayed with that trainer. I do. I couldn't get you to get no, in the dress code. Too much. You too don't much come regimen. With all in my this life. on to work out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Failure to stay in bed when ill. Yeah, well, I've been really blessed. You know, I've been a healthy person, and so I have had very few times that I've ever been ill. Okay. Postponement of or future or failure to make medical appointments for yourself. So say the doctor says you have, a, you have a doctor's appointment and you cancel it because I've got a business luncheon. Now, I have, really have, have been, been good guilty? on that. I've been guilty of that. Well, the real world is now you don't cancel one because it's hard to get to see the doctor. And this is the word to all of you. Don't miss you taking a proactive, aggressive approach because we will see the day. Okay, we're, we've got our appointment. We've been waiting two months, and then the doctor cancels yes. because something happened. So don't miss those. Go, Trey. Okay. So I'd like to ask you a question, Mr. Kennedy. Do you think? Do you think you are being selfish when you put your needs first? Well, the truth is, God's calling us. We've got one body. Yes. And He gave it to us. Will we take care? It's just like me giving you a new lawnmower and you left it out. You never changed the oil. I say, Treva, you wasted the money that I worked so hard to get the lawnmower to you. And the Lord gives us a perfect body, many of us. Okay. And then do we just carelessly not yes. maintain it? You have to. You know, years ago I had a situation, um, love to sing in a choir, mm-hmm. love to do that at church. And then sometimes at church we would do like fundraisers. And so I would get out there and I would just really, I would call it the abuse of my vocal cords. Hello. Praise the Lord. Me so I, I developed nodules on my vocal cords. I love though I was a praise and worship leader. I developed nodules on my vocal cords. So I went to my doctor, best doctor in Vanderbilt, yes. Nashville. He says, uh, I said, well, I use my voice for the Lord. He said, well, I'm going to share this. Either you use it or you're going to lose it. If you stop using it now, you're going to lose it. And I was at a crossroad. Like, I Lord, do I? And I felt like the church at that time was like, no, keep praising God. But what I did is I took care of my vocal cords. And after eight weeks, after eight weeks, my voice returned. Hold on. Let me tell you the Kevin Kennedy story. Yes. So I used to teach school at lunchtime. Yes. So I got up real early, went to the office, packed out, and I was a master at talking. That's my, my life. Mm-hmm. And when I was winning so many jury trials, it took all I had to get it across to yes, win. Yes. So then I would go, after I finished work, I went and taught that night. And then I sang at the church. I literally wore my voice. I ended up at Vanderbilt. Yes. And uh, it still modified my singing. If you heard me years ago, my voice was high. You hear me today, my voice is a lot mm-hmm. lower. I said, what happened? Yes. Wore it out. Yes, we have to take care. So if the doctor is saying, slow down on the salt intake, mm-hmm. should you do it? Sure. Should you listen? Yeah. Or should you be like, no, I'm going to do it. Well, I've seen like. you do it, but you're out of no, time. Put the no. salt shaker down. Pick up the pepper. You know what? I tell you what. We, we're going to pray for Kevin Kennedy. We thank God so much for him. When we come back, we have a man who's doing some great things. He's a great friend of ours, and uh, he's going to pray for Kevin when we return <laughs> right here on the Treva and Kevin Come on Show. back.
All right, Treva and Kevin Show, we are back. Kevin, did you put down the salt shake? No, I watched you, though. I'm telling Come on. you. Well, I, anyhow. You're going to feel guilty one of these days. No, Kevin told listen, me to do it. in the Bible, it talks about lying. It is a sin, so tell the <laughs> truth. Right now, we're grateful for our friend of our show who's coming to straighten all this out. David Shelton, please yeah. come on out. Come so, out, David. It's We've time. been missing. He got his Get royal purple okay. on. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting better. Oh my now. goodness! He wore a, j- a nice jacket for for you today. I like Kevin. that. You know, <laughs> last time he was here, he had one, and I got one just like me and him. Talk got him about just a lot. This look, it's mm-hmm. good, mm-hmm. isn't it? It's it's it, it, I, I I decided I wanted to step up my game a little bit not too long ago, and I said, okay, now what would Kevin Kennedy wear? Go on oh, and tell it. Oh, David. he loves that. Don't pump his head up too now, much, David. Don't say anything about oh, Trey. Lord. She got to get out that door <laughs> some kind of way. <laughs> we ain't gonna stay here all night. I love the color purple. Purple. Oh, purple yes. is royalty. It, yeah. it, it, it's royalty, but it's also grace. Yes. Vibrant. Kevin? But, you know, we like a little personality. We like some color in our life. Yes, yes, isn't, it, isn't it fun? So, yeah, we not in our language. Music. Yeah. All right. So, David, of course, Made in the Shade. We love Made in the Shade. How is Made in the Shade? Oh, we are, we are just coming up from really amazing things. Matter of fact, I brought some swatches here that I showed Ooh. one of our clients not too long ago. You see, honeycomb shades are so, so popular right now, and they've got this really nice fabric on here. Sometimes people say they look like, they feel like paper, but you <laughs> Just put your hands on that. It is luxurious. It is, it is gorgeous. Luxurious. And this comes in 800 colors. So I didn't know there was including red. Colors. And yeah. I heard before that a bird, bird tell me that you like red. Red, my favorite. Something about Austin P. Yeah, that's right. Amazing. Oh my State gosh. University in college. So yeah. what does it? What's the process? Do I call the store? Or I visit online? How do I? You know, of course the information is in front of our viewers, but what do I do? I need to change the these. Just call us at nine three one three seven eight five one. Five seven, or you can go on the web and look for Made in the Shade blinds, and we have uh, we have locations all over the country, including right here in four, four or five right here in, in the state of Tennessee. And one thing I want to commend you, David, for the work that you're doing in the city of Clarksville oh. with Made in the Shade. We stay. I busy. see that truck go everywhere I go, Mr. Kennedy. It's on Madison Street. It's in Clarksville. It's everywhere. It's you're the Shade Mobile. It's the Shade Mobile. Have you stopped by <laughs> yeah. Kevin Kennedy? Oh my like goodness! You. you know the truth is in the in the rich subdivisions you're there. In the middle subdivisions you're there. We're it everywhere. goes across all. We yeah. work with all of our clients with budgets of all types, with styles of all types. I mean, love because it. we want to serve people. Oh. And that's the whole person. And make your home and business look amazing. You know when he said that. 800 different. 800. I was getting ready to say, I don't know what your Crayola crayon box looked like. I didn't know that there was that many colors. It's a pretty big box. <laughs> Wow. Need yeah. the computer program. So tell us, that. what are the most popular shade colors everybody thinks? Right now, navy is super hot. We've, I've got uh, one on my website right now that look, looks amazing. We've, I've seen, I'm seeing teal, mm. but most popular are mm. grays and different things that kind of blend in with the color palette that we're seeing today. Wow. In modern style, sometimes people want to go a little bold. I love it when that happens. Okay. You know me in bold colors. I love it. We do, too. You're and, wearing and that jacket. A, oh, I so love this. So tell thing. us now, when the shade goes up, will the sun fade them over time? Oh. Well, that's actually a very good question. They're rated for certain time periods on them. Okay. So many of them are rated for up to 20 years. And, wow. and that's the kind of thing where the color will stay the same, it will stay beautiful, yeah. and 10 or 20 years from now, you might get bored with it before it changes color. Now, well, you know, David, one of the things that you brought to my attention, you know, so we a lot of people still have some windows, and they don't have anything, many upstairs. When, Naked but, windows. Well, yes, Ooh. but what they don't realize, and I didn't realize, I had some really expensive prints, and the sun fades, fades up. and it'll even fade the frame. Will it not? It'll fade your so floors, you're just, your furniture, yeah. if your rugs, all of that. So wow. there are different types of window treatment that can be a simple shear that will block almost all of that UV. Really so great stuff. So what's the difference between going to the local store to purchase or making a purchase with you? They say that's a little pricey because I can go down to say my average lows or something. So what would set, because I know it sets you apart from them, but what sets you apart? Well, what sets us apart, we are the local store. Wow. Everywhere else, it, it, you go anywhere else, big box, big chain boxes, even though we have the locations all over the country, each one of us are owned and operated locally, right in our community. You heard that. And we, we live and we work with our communities. I love I love Clarksville and I'm always trying to find ways to get back into town. Yes, which you started a new podcast. Yes. 
And the podcast the is called The Clark that Bill That I Know. Yes. And it's all about lifting people up and giving people a chance to oh, show off David. The, the folks that are really doing the work, doing the good behind the scenes. Okay, and I got a question for you. I love okay. questions. Okay, yeah. now, David, you know, in Don't some of these, the, questions. The, the staircases, you got stairs. Yes. Then you got a window way up there on the staircase. Well, do you have to have a special ladder that will handle that staircase, or do y'all block off a regular ladder and then go up and do it? Well, the, the ladders that we use, some of them are modular, so you can have one, one point here, one point here, and it's very safe for my installer to do it. They don't like those much. Frankly, I don't either. Yeah. But There's a lot of houses that will have those, that, we'll that have you those can meet and, any of those needs. I, I have put shutters and windows like that, so it, it's wow. really amazing to see that. All right, we are having a blast with David Shelton. David. I could not help but notice. You've lost some weight. A pound or two. We don't even know who he is. I saw not him. Not a pound or two. Well, and we're going to go have to go back and do some before pictures. You looked great then. Yes. But you're looking better. The, this was a journey that I began, I would say, probably about in, uh, in the spring when I realized two things. One, I couldn't get up the steps without excruciating knee pain. Oh, my. And you see, my dad, he gave me these amazing good looks and yeah. bad knees, so yeah. I, pff, I have to deal with all of that at the same time. So the beauty of that is that I knew that I, there was something wrong, and I looked at myself and I knew that I had to realize that round might be a shape, but it's not a very good one for the human body. Yeah. Oh. And I decided I needed to make some changes. The first thing I did is I said, you know what? It's time for me to start pushing away from the table a little bit. Now, was that hard? That's Very. Thank you. Talk about it. The hard part of it is because I am an emotional eater. And as an emotional eater, it becomes very difficult to stop. Now, what's an emotional eater? Someone uh, wound watching. up. You well, want to hit it? Yeah. In my understanding of it, and Kevin, it, it, it we are me both out. emotional eaters. It's, it's like when when you have pain and you and you have stress and you're just simply yeah. dealing with life and life comes at you. That macaroni and cheese looks really good. That bowl mm. of ice cream. That well, that ice cream. Or that the, cheeseburger. Or that things savory. I like things that are savory. I don't have a sweet tooth, thank goodness. Mm. But uh, I love food. I love I love cooking. I love I love making amazing foods. And sometimes I make a little bit too much. And I realized that yeah. the human stomach we'll get too much. <laughs> is only needs about that much food. What? About the size Just of your fist. Just that little bit right there? Yeah. That's all we You need about 2,000 calories to be able to, to live throughout that your life. That much right there. It doesn't, uh, like a smaller fist, but generally okay. it, it's about the, si large, the size of a large fist or a large apple. And, though, and, and that's all condensed into that. So that can be a small meal. But the way I decided to go this, it, the, I've been all these diet plans. I've been on a couple of them. None of them work for me. For the long haul. They won't do it. Yes. So you don't believe in diets? Well, the first three letters of that are not awesome. D-I-E. D-I-E. So my thought was, what if I did something really revolutionary and go, go to something that my doctor told me years ago? Eat less, move more. Eat less, move more. Okay, Kevin, uh, for the challenge. He'll be on me from now on. And then after a while, you start realizing that the results start to grow, then it becomes eat better and move harder. Yeah. So the more that that, that we can move, the more that we can push that you're, you're basically telling your body, yeah, you're going to eat what, when I tell you to eat. Wow. And you're basically letting your body know that this is what the standard is now, and now we've got to keep moving. So the body starts using up a lot of that excess fat and weight, and you begin to breathe it out. Well, back to his emotion, you know, that's kind of it's, like it's hard. Well, we are all there. I love you know, shirt. when I have a business luncheon, and I have business dinners, business lunch, well, they're expecting me to carry on the conversation, so I'm carrying on. Then when one talk, then I'm going, and it takes some energy. So I'm right there, you and I, we it's both hard. Are, but it's you kind of you got to find the problem before you can solve it. Where well, after wow. about two months, I realized I have a hard time eating more than a small plate. Yeah. If I have, if I get myself a hamburger and I love my set, my burger. Saturday is my burger day. I might eat a few fries, not the big large order. Yeah. But I'm still gonna get my burger. But I'm gonna eat responsibly. That's, well, That's you, hard. You're showing it. I mean, I should have been dead at the age of three because of heart surgery. But but because of the grace of God, I'm still here today at mm -hmm. the age of fifty. 
You got some work to do, David. I got work to do. Amen. Wow. I got work to do. Well, you look great. We're out of time, Miss Treba. And we, when we come back, we'll close it out with David, our dear friend. And thank you for being here today. Thank Your you. weight loss journey is incredible. Thank you. He's been with us a long time. And Kevin, you look great as well. You've thank lost you so some much. weight as well. Well, go on. I had to get David on here for you to notice. Wrap this up so we can talk about something. Oh, my goodness. We'll Y'all be, be back, right back with more. Bye. <laughs> Oh, wow. You know what? Everything that I have been dealing with, and you know what? Life is sometimes hard. Yeah. And when you're, when you're already an emotional eater, life happens. I've had three funerals in the last month and a half, and it's very, very difficult to, to weigh in on top. Amen. But I've always remembered what, what the Bible says in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 12. Not that I have already obtained this or have already arrived at my goal. I press on. Yes. To take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Amen. And I'm going to keep on doing that. Amen. And I, that, that is the verse I have been, I've stood on as kind of my life anthem. And that, yeah. So whether it's weight loss or business or personal relationship, I press on. We hold that verse as we march through. Amen. This. It's been good to be with you today. You, I challenge you. Hold on to that verse. We press on to the mark. We'll have some setbacks, but Treva, we will press on. David. Press we on. will press on. David is pressing on. Yeah, well, that we are he's too. He's pressing on. Well, it's you and me <laughs> and David up here. I guess we're not falling back. Hold the line. And last but not least, David, I want you to say a prayer for Mr. Kennedy and Treva Gordon today. So well, I, Lord God, right now, yes. in the name of Jesus, I pray for these two amazing people. <laughs> Thank you. Blessing their ministry, blessing their time. Thank you. Helping others through loss, through law. God is here be with us, between us, and in us. And we thank you for that, for forgiving all of our sins. Yes, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you, All God. right. Thank See you. See you soon. Love you, guys. Love you. Bye. Well, I think one, I, I think, I hope that I never changed from dancing. You oh. know, I loved to dance when I was in high school. Really? I won all the dance contests. Can Did you, you believe it? Oh, my yeah. goodness. And it, when I won the senior year, they all came back and said, now, Kevin, okay. that's when Michael Jackson's Soul Train was really at its height. Yes. They said, do you watch Soul Train? I said, get over it. Soul Train watches what? me. I love that. And so then when I went to college, I went on and did and won quite a few. And then one Dancing with the Stars. Okay. You know, within the last three or four years. Okay. So I love to dance. Okay. And I'm a people person. I love people. So I hope that I would never grow old of just loving people yeah. and doing what I can to help people. So I mean. that's one thing I hope will never change. What books have you read and what has been the big influence on you? Okay. Well, the books I've been reading, I've been reading The Lord and the Law. It's by a famous author. Are you familiar with that author? Yes, by Trevor Gordon. <laughs>